Obviously, it's been a while since we've, we've, we've been here. Um, obviously, very excited to uh, uh, have Terrence Shannon's um, got a big week. Uh, had a big week last week, and, and the announcement that uh, uh, DIA and, and men's basketball will hang his jersey uh, just does nothing but bring a smile. Uh, to my face, uh, one of the outstanding seasons in the history of Illinois basketball, uh, and uh, you know we obviously know there were some postseason accolades that, that didn't happen that would have, and uh, very very um, uh, excited about that for him, and, and very deserving, uh, and, and, and so uh, excited for his week this week, uh, what that will look like. I think it'll be a, a Wednesday deal, um, but uh, you know we'll see as we progress through that. Um, we've had uh, eight or nine workouts now, I guess, um, this summer. Uh, we don't. We obviously don't have everybody. There was an announcement yesterday. Obviously, everybody is talking about uh, Will's not here uh, yet, and, and that we're moving with Tomislav. Uh, still not here yet as he finished uh, uh, just getting through the admissions process and and, um, uh, and handling that. But uh, uh, KJ, as we call him, is here. Uh, you know, and so he, he, he got joined us uh, early early last week and got through all of his physicals and, and uh, uh, the process he had to get on the court. So he's been uh, he's been with us as well. It's been a busy, very busy spring, um, as we uh, uh, we knew when we put last year's team together that uh, uh, there was going to be a lot of new faces uh, in, in, in next year's team. Uh, we were very old. Uh, that paid off uh, in uh, a Big Ten tournament championship, an Elite Eight run, uh, a little short of where we wanted to go, uh, to be very honest, uh, but I did think we were a Final Four team that just happened to hit UConn in the Elite Eight. Uh, but uh, all those guys have moved on for the most part. And uh, you know, we, we feel like we've, uh, we've tapped just about every market in terms of uh, uh, the European market uh, with some high school kids, uh, with a transfer portal. Um, I love uh, uh, the talent. Uh, we're obviously going to look a little bit different in terms of uh, we're not quite as old. And, uh, uh, but uh, I think there's a, uh, a, a lot of diversity, a lot of uh, the guys that versatility-wise give us uh, the ability to do a lot of things. We've been very specific in what we've tried to hit in the portal, uh, positional size and shooting. Um, obviously, we were, we were very efficient on the offensive end last year, I think finishing third. And we're first going into the UConn game, so um, you know, we'll, we'll continue to try to play that way fast and uh, um, in, in a way that we can take advantage of mismatches um, with, with a very much a, a, an open court. So uh, our staff should be commended on just doing an incredible job um, all the way around. Uh, every single staff member was huge in terms of of uh, what they brought, I, I've said it. You know, uh, I get to stand up here and, and, and talk to you guys, and these guys are, are the best in the business at at, uh, at what they do. So um, you know, Jeff and and Tim and, 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 and now Orlando have all hit the ground running and, and been spectacular in terms of uh, acquiring talent and uh, what next year's team looks like. So. Um, I like this group. I, I think there's there's going to be some growth. Uh, you know, we're going to play a, a tremendous schedule, uh, maybe the best ever. I think that's exciting. I think you know that uh, it's exciting to be in uh, a part of some of these games, and that uh, the national media, uh, the TV networks like us, and, and, and that's a, a big thank you to our fans because they do travel. But uh, you know, it's 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 also I think put us in that. Uh, uh, in that status that, that uh, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty good and people think a lot of us. So I'm excited about our schedule and, and uh, this group. So, uh, Mayor, I'll just uh, let you guys fire away.
What was the process like with Will? Obviously transitioning O's efforts over here, and what do you think made a great fit for both sides? Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I should talk about Will, and, and um, you know, he's, uh, I think you were there um, watching the game that we saw, and, and uh, uh, you know, Orlando's obviously had a tremendous connection with, um, with Uplay, uh, going back to a, a young man that they signed there. Um, and uh, it was just a, a great fit, um, I think, in terms of what uh, we were looking for. Um, he's a, a very, very talented offensive player. He is a young man that scores at all three levels. Uh, he does it at 6'8", 6'9". Um, I, I would say the definition of positionless is him. Uh, he's, he's shown that he can be an elite uh, playmaker, uh, shooter off the bounds, finisher. Um, you know, everybody wants to say he's thin. Okay, there's, you know, there, there's, there's some of that. Uh, it's probably true, but boy, he's, he's, he's a very good athlete, a former high jump champion. Um, so uh, he was a great fit. Uh, they had a great visit. I think there's no doubt that Adam Fletcher, what we do in the, uh, in the world of nutrition and, and strength and conditioning is, is, is the best in, in the country. Um, I think that was a, a factor, and uh, uh, you know, I think he's a guy that, uh, uh, whatever the time frame is, one year, two years, whatever it is, will be a, uh, it'll be a, a very long-term uh, pro if he has the ability to stay healthy. So, very excited about him, and, and again, Orlando's uh, Orlando's connections were were of huge importance, and then they came here and just uh, uh, style of play and and. Uh, a lot of new faces, you know, not a guy that's back, you know, at, at Terrence or, or, or Coleman that's back. Um, you know, I think all played into to his choices. Brady had a lot of talent, but a lot of that talent hasn't proven itself yet at, at this level. So what's that competition like? What's that mean for your program and, and for you throughout this offseason too? <laughs> yeah, you know, I think it's a little bit different. I, I You know, I do think Kylan has been pretty well proven. Um, you know, he's, he's been – been coached at a really high level. You know, he's played, you know, a ton of big games. Um, and I do think, um, you know, Trey has been, uh, he's been through it. I mean, he's 50 plus starts in his career. Obviously had a great freshman campaign at, at USC. Um, and, uh, but, it, but I think there's, um, you know, that's the fun part. You know, I think it's, 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 I would much rather have guys with, that have the talent, the ability to go do some things. Um, you know, we've got uh, some European guys that uh, have played at a very, very high level. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that is a wealth of knowledge and the competition, um, you know, I think is, uh, makes their transition a little easier. Uh, but, uh, you know, you bring Ty back, you bring Draven back. Uh, Ty obviously started, you know, what did we play last year? 30 some games, 39 to 38 games, whatever. Um, you know, I think he's, uh, uh, you know, Draven was, was, was moving the needle forward at the end of the season and playing a lot. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all going to fit together. It's, it's uh, you know, there'll be some growing pains, there's no doubt. As, as I always say, the, you know, the defensive side is the hardest side to learn. Uh, but uh, you know, we feel like we've got a, a group that fits and that we're not going to have to search as much on the offensive side to, to, to find those fits. Yeah, for somebody like Will, who's reclassifying up, what are the boxes you've got to check in your mind that make him ready for this supplement? He's ready. He's as ready as anybody in the bad. Uh, in my, How do you know that? It might, oh, he's, but his, there, there's, a, there's an it factor with him. He's just got it, you know, and, and his, the game's easy for him. And uh, I think the night he had you know, 40 plus in the game we saw, it wasn't where he was being hungry. He was playing within the framework of what they gave him and, and played a team that was very physical, that was trying to face guard him. Uh, he didn't have to search him, he just made basketball plays. And, and uh, um, so I, I think that uh, that part of things is, 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 is easy for him. I think that, that he's got a gift on that side to, to score it in a lot of ways. And uh, he's very competitive. His IQ 
um, Carter and I. Uh, so I think there's a there's a mental component. He's 18. Uh, it's not what he's a 17 year old as Kylan was. I think that year helps, but uh, I'm very excited about his his upside. I think he's got a the um, ceiling and gives us a ceiling that can be very very high on, on that end of the court. You've coached us. Among these newcomers, and there's a lot of them. Or are there one or two you would single out as standing out to you in these early workouts? You know, I, I mean, I think I think you see the fact that that, that Trey um, has a lot of experience. Uh, he's he's, a, he's been a big body guy. Um, ben, uh, although he rolled his ankle last Friday, um, you know, Ben's a guy that's that's been uh, um, you know elite shooting it, great spacer. He's got he's got more game. Uh, than maybe we even thought. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, you know Kylan come in here uh, with a with an unbelievable attitude. He's lost 20 pounds um, since he arrived here. Uh, Jake Davis has, has has lost a good amount of weight. Jake is uh, he's got a strap. He can really really shoot it. Um, and and uh, again a better player than maybe we, we first anticipated. But uh, uh, Merez joined us, uh, coming off his gold medal, so I guess he's been with us a little over a week now. Um, we played 30 minutes uh, every day, five on five, uh, pickup type games where the games are structured and we actually have coaches coaching them. Uh, we started that last year and, and Merez has led us in rebounding uh, every single day. So he's impacted us, he's 242 pounds, uh, very physical. Uh, you know, Kerry Booth is, you know, we're in awe of his athleticism, uh, you know, every day. He's, he's uh, Fletch's best friend right now, just in terms of seeing how many waffles he can eat every day <laughs> and, uh, and, and gain some weight. But uh, everybody's done some really good things. And, and uh, you know, again, it's, it's, it's a time where we're, we're doing a lot of teaching. Uh, but more importantly, we're playing. So we really want to rev up the competitive juices and then, Develop some chemistry with these guys uh, through play. You've coached a lot of international players in your day, and this is a roster full of them. What are you mindful of when you bring in players from outside the United States and coach them? Yeah, I, I think one of the, the the big challenges is is there's so many positives. One, uh, but I, I think that one of the challenges is, you know, like in in, in, in Kasparos, and it, you know, they run a lot of sets. So now we're trying to pick up tempo and play fast. We play games now with 18 second shot clocks, with 20 second shot clocks, and, and uh, yet we see his athleticism. Uh, you know, that, that's always an adjustment for, for some international guys as you know, they get on their, their teams and there's a lot of, um, I don't wanna say slower pace, but there's a lot of sets and, and, and trying to flow. But uh, very high IQ, all those guys, they're extremely well, um, uh, they're extremely sound in their fundamentals. And, um, you know, in, in this case, he can really shoot and pass a dribble it. Uh, obviously, we feel that about Thomas Law, uh, you know, playing at a very, very high level. I mean, if, if anybody can watch the film and know what his skill set is. So, um, you know, and, and again, the Will's been in the, in the, in the state, so he's, he's, he's acclimated a little bit. Brett, how do you manage, you know, you, a lot of talent. Last year, you came in, guys knew their roles. Now you have 10 kind of new guys, how do you manage that That's talent fun. and expectations? That's fun. That's, it's, um, you know, I, I'm not going to buy that you can have too much. That's a cop out. That's for pe people to say that or people that don't have it. And uh, um, we'll figure it out. It always works itself out. I think that, that uh, we've spent a ton of time studying character, uh, studying guys that we know fit what we're doing. Uh, we've been very um, decisive, I think, in trying not to waver on, on character, on talent, and the specific needs of these guys. So we do have versatility. We can, you know, play really big. You know, you can see Ben play the three. You can put, you can see a, a smaller backcourt. You can see, um, you know, a lot of things happen. Uh, we've done that within being intentional and I, and I hope we have a, a group where we've got eight, nine, ten guys that are starters and 
let's go compete and let's make practice. We had three bad practices yet last year out of 107. Three. Two of them were before Penn State. So no wonder we lost that game. We're going to have that same thing this year. Our practices, are, you don't perform in practice, just come set. I'm good with that. And uh, I like that. I like having that, uh, uh, the talent to know there's, there's, there's not a huge drop off there. Saw some video, short video of Ty shooting some jumpers. Is, it, is that an area of emphasis for him? Oh, he's been relentless. I mean, it's 1,500 a day. Uh, we've got a new machine or a new, a new technology machine called a NOAA um, that's in the gym. It's facial recognition. It, it talks to you uh, on every shot. You know, it tells you your arc, the depth you're shooting it. That piece there has helped him tremendously. We've made a, a, a slight um, technique change uh, in him, but to his 